Spain clock in for their very first appearance at these championships. A special anniversary edition, in fact, games held across multiple nations. A true pan-European tournament that is a reflection of the pan-European nature of the game. And this is where it all starts for them. Eleven players, many of them friends, some foes during the league season, now united for a single cause as they carry the hopes and expectations of a nation in this grand quadrennial event. Ahead of us, a month of non-stop adrenaline rush. I trust you are strapped in comfortably for what will be at least for partisan parties the most unbearable, thrilling of emotional roller coasters. And we have in front of us this gloriously imposing arena, absolutely picture perfect for a game of this nature. So it is upon us, their opening game, and what they hope will be the first of many fine games in this championship. All I hope is that these nations, as well as the players, of course, can make a good account of themselves. And I also like the fact that such excitement isn't just something that one... Who do you think this turns on, Jim? David De Gea. He's one of the all-time great shot stoppers, Peter. His positioning is superb, and he always seems to pick the perfect moment to rush off his line. What I really like about him is the way he keeps his frame big to make life as difficult as possible for strikers, and the manager will be hoping for a few more clean sheets now that he's in the team. Yeah, I'd have picked him too. No doubt the fans feel much the same way. Gleison. Well, that's where he wants it. Albiol does well to read it and intercepts. Gleison, oh, a definite foul there. That's the talking to, I think. Yes, it is. And that's the end of that. It all started well enough. Working very hard to get it wide now, Jim. Yeah, I think they've decided to concentrate on, on working the flanks to help the production line. It's uh, it's where the room is. The other side, especially adventurous early on. Great run, this. He's covered quite a distance. Goalkeeper's ball. Isak. He's got options out wide. He's left his man. That intervention was very necessary. Fist. Well, both sides have actually looked poor going forward. We've hardly seen anything meaningful yet. Kleisson. Kleisson plays it forward. Pass needed to be better than that, and he knows it. Gets wrestled off the ball. That's great strength on the ball. Cazorla. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. And now they can launch a counter. And here's Morata. Lindelof. Lustig goes direct to the front line. Yeah. 
Lindelof. Kleisson. Receives it in a good position. And that'll go straight through to the keeper. And it's Morata. And he's going long. Forward it goes. Lindelof gets it back. Morata really got caught in a trap there, and he just couldn't get out. Lustig. Frank Christ. Kleisson. Ekdal. Tries to get it forward quickly. It's the half-time whistle, so now the team has broken through. <laughs> not for the want of trying. Interesting game up to now, but still goals. We can review the first half. Well, this has proved a very frustrating day so far, especially for the strikers. Nothing has been created for them. I think the service has been extremely poor. And after 45 minutes, it is still goalless. A change, perhaps, after half-time. And we are already promptly back on the way. Spain, pretty fortunate not to be trailing at half-time. They've been lacklustre and, and second-best for me. And if ever a situation demanded a telling... Morata with the foul. Ekdal. Kleisson. And it's been taken straight back. Morata plays it out to the flank. Lindelof. Lustig. Morata. Nil-nil still, it's a game that needs a bit of life injected. Cazorla. Someone looks like he's in need of protection here. Yeah, better communication and, and lots of contact seems to be the, the route to quieting him down there. The clearance is very necessary. Did really well to intervene and dispel the growing danger. Gaia. Oh, he's going to be pulled back for that one. <laughs> now it's Rodrigo. That's a throw. Lustig. Very few chances to talk of, Jim. Defence is, it seems, on top here. Yes, nil-nil and little promise of a goal due to the shot-shy nature of this contest, but I'm not giving up on it. There's plenty of energy on the pitch, not to give up hope just yet. Cazorla. Now it's Morata. Lustig as well there, alert.
Ekdal. Berg. Looks to clip it forward. Well, to be honest, I think they're all show and no substance. Where's the final product? He's had that put on the plate. Morata has been caught there, it's a foul. Well, the referee has made it pretty clear now that this is his last chance. Well, I think the referee would have told him to rein it in or, or suffer the consequences. That was travelling. Ekdal. Hoists it forward. Gleison. Gets his foot in there. That a foul? Yes, the uh, referee's given it. And that's going to be a booking. Massive leap! He was well picked out, just needed a better finish. Look, there'll be no complaints at all with quick service like that. It's so difficult to defend when the ball comes in so swiftly. But you can't question the finishing in this instance. I think, though, there's enough grounds for them to keep working at it. Lustig. And it's played forward. A long ball, but not especially accurate. Cazola. And it's Rodrigo. Well weighted. It away. Thiago has been found. Concentration levels are very good, and so is the commitment. This game could yet yield a winner. Sweden clearly aren't looking comfortable on the ball at the moment. Predictability has just crept into their play. Tries to get it forward quickly. Well, both sides might have to settle for a draw here, although there's still a chance for one last fling. Now it's Morata. Oh, well played. He needed to get that right. Referee looks at his watch and blows his whistle. Spain must wait for their first win, but they have their first point. That for now will have to suffice. So what do you take away from it all, Jim? It could have been both better. Tried their hand at becoming the finest of them all. Now we are left with the 24 who have made it to these finals. Opening day certainly has a special feel to it. The atmosphere combustible but joyous as we usher in a new era for this competition together with the hopes and aspirations of all that take part. Worth reminding ourselves too that 2020 is the 60th birthday of these championships and it is for that special reason that the competition is being held right across the continent. This place simply a monument to the game. So much prestige, so much pride, so much passion whenever football is played here. Well, that has got the juices flowing, and now this.
Here it is then, the first page of the first... I like the fact that such excitement isn't just something that one host country has the monopoly of. It's shared by so many people across the continent, literally, and that certainly created a, an extra special buzz. And as you can see, we've already started here. Who do you, Jim, see making a difference here? Yeah, Robert Lewandowski. He's just about the perfect all-round striker. Not least because he can finish equally well with both feet, Peter. It's not all about his finishing, though. He's always on the shoulder. And he's in for the header! Great effort. He flew in with courage. Well, he can't be accused of not being brave, Peter. And his boss will give him the thumbs up, I'm sure. Hamshik with the crossfield ball. Kuczka. Oh, that's nice. It's broken loose. Hoists it forward. A real chance to break. Now it's Krikowiak. Has he picked him out? Rosicki. And shoots! This could fall anywhere. And it's played forward. Breaks on here. Some good play on the left-hand side now to profit from it. Great run this. He's covered quite a distance. And he's cut it out. Finds himself eased off the ball. Seems now to be all about width. Well, when you have the personnel to create in wide areas, then they need to see as much of the ball as possible. And that is as far as they're going to go. Forward it goes. Loses. The referee's awarded a free kick. And he is going into that little black book. <laughs> Nick plays it forward. And it's Blaszczykowski. No goals as yet. Krikowiak. It's a loose ball. Well, Red, he sorted that out. It'll be a throw in. again for a throw-in. Has a hit! That a foul? Yes, the uh, referee's given it. To Bravkovsky. It's, it's Grosinski! Just a whisker away. Hit long and direct. towards the front men. Grzycki. Grzycki brings the ball forward. He is not one. Grzycki concedes a free kick for that. And he's going to have his name taken.
more than happy to take the muscular approach. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Well, the crowd clearly liked what they just saw. Some real no-nonsense defending. Gets the better of his man. Chesney has that under control. Looking to break out here. He's made sure that that won't get through. Well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. The movement was good, but the pass lacked authority. Uh, a cause of mild frustration. Rosicki. And it's Blaszczykowski. Ball's loose, who's getting there? And the half-time whistle goes. So now the team has broken through. But certainly not for the one to try. It's an interesting game up to now. But still goals. Reflections on the first half. I think it's been a very impressive defensive effort. They've never been broken down and contained the opposition attack extremely well. Well, after 45 minutes, it is still goalless. A change, perhaps, after half-time. And the game has already resumed here. Well, the first half didn't really produce the goals we'd have liked. Hopefully, they've been saved for the, the second. For that to be the case, though... Gets up to hit it! Oh, attempt. Just the wrong outcome. Lewandowski certainly could have and should have made more of that. Skrinya, Skrinya goes looking. Oh, that's neat. Hamshik. Hamshik. Well, that's a foul. Simple decision for the referee. Well, the referee has made it pretty clear now that this is his last chance. He just needs to find the control button on his aggression before the ref does it for him, Peter. And it's the goalkeeper's to claim. Now it's Lewandowski. Not much subtlety, he's launched himself there. No complaints about that challenge, robust but fair. Shoots! He tried the chip, but it wasn't his best. Well, it could have been and probably should have been a, a different choice of finish. There was lower space to hit. It's a long ball. But it's not hit its target. This defence just doesn't trust itself to, to play a higher line. Frightened of people getting in behind. Yeah, absolutely. It just opens up the opportunity of not only strikers getting behind, but the runners from midfield too. Chance! That's caused a worry or two. A more than decent attempt, Peter. Hamshik. Tries lifting it over. Oh, the less said about that pass, the better. Lewandowski has come loose. And here's Blaszczykowski. And it's been taken straight back. 
and it's Blaszczykowski. And the defence can get it clear. Now it's Grosicki. And that's been levered clear. He's had that put on the plate. Krikowiak. He gets past his man, has a pop! Oh, that's a fine save! The keeper really dug out his defence then, a magnificent effort. <laughs> Poland with another corner. Receives it from behind. Just brushed off the ball there. Poland showing a good level of intensity at this stage. They're calling on all their resources now. Look, this can still go either way. It might be flowing one way, but there's still time for some ebb. Gets away from his... And the finish! Chance to break. Gets his foot in there. Slovakia merit full marks for their attitude and application in trying to win this. It means an awful lot, obviously. Kuczka positions himself well and cuts it out. Tries to get it forward quickly. Well, both sides might have to settle for a draw here, although there's still a chance for one last fling. And he's there to cut it out. And out to safety. Gets a good foot in there. Blaszczykowski. Can't get the better of his opposite number. And it's Hamšík. So time is nearly up. One final twist, perhaps. And that will be the final act. Well, they've got a point. Three, of course, were preferable but up and running for a new campaign. How do you look back on the game then, Jim? Yeah, I think all's well that ends well on this one.